hello people this is rishi today i'm gonna be showing you how to import media and organize media in final cut pro x or final cut pro 10 so <clears throat> let me just go ahead and open my oops i opened my final cut pro trail already so this is how the interface looks like this is all your edited video and uh, if you just click on this little button you see all your project library files here so you just go ahead and uh, so the the whole workflow would be you just import the media just convert it into both proxy and uh, optimized media just use the proxy media for editing and uh, convert it into switch into the optimized media while uh, working on the color correction or while uh, exporting it to uh, out so let me just go ahead and show you how the workflow goes let's first right click on let's first create an event folder you can just right click here and click on new event just let's say um media demo you can either right click here and click on import files or click on the import files from here so here opens the importing pane just go ahead go ahead and uh, just click on one medium this is just 3 minute 39 seconds let me just open this it's uh, okay just go ahead and uh, click copy files to final cut events folder because it's gonna help you for the future reference it will just go ahead and organize your files into the final cut events folder so you, in future case if you accidentally delete your media while organizing your system files you don't have to be much bothered about this thing because if you delete a file from this i believe you might have deleted the entire final cut events folder so you just don't have to worry much about this thing you just go ahead and copy the files to there cut events folder what it does is it just copies the whole original media from your camera footage or from your memory card or from your desktop uh, into the final cut events folder so the whole media gets copied there let's say if that's a 1 gb file it just shows as a 1 gb file in the final cut events folder next you don't have to be worried much about this import folders as keyword collection because what it does is it just assigns a keyword collection depending on your file name so in search bar once you search so it will just pop up so you don't uh, right now i'm just leaving it uh, empty and just go ahead and uh, this is very important step in your importing media flow this is called transcoding why you need transcoding so yeah if you just go ahead and click your create optimized media the final cut will create one optimized media file which is good for color correction let's say you have in your camera you get an 8-bit video format that is 4 is to 2 is to 0 color sampling ratio format so when you click on this create optimized media it just pitches up to the 4 is to 2 is to 2 color sampling video file which helps you a lot while making a color correction or uh, when you skimming over the video it will uh, give you the smooth flow it's uh, i suggest you check this particular thing because it helps you a lot in uh, future editing once the media gets imported next here comes the create proxy media this is a very useful step if you click uh, just forgot to mention if you click on create optimized media it will uh, pumps up the video file size and uh, stored as a separate media 
so since you I click the create optimize media now I have in my final cut events folder two medias now one with the original footage and one is optimized media let us say if the original footage is 300 MB the optimized media file would go about uh, would go and hit about 3 GB or 4 GB file because it's gonna expand your media for color correct so here comes the create proxy media which is a very helpful so, okay if you hover your mouse over this step it will show you the select to create high quality copies of media for optimized editing encoding encoded as op apple prores oops apple prores 422 now this particular thing if you go ahead and uh, select this thing even this particular thing gets encoded as prores 422 but uh, it is uh, particularly for uh, faster editing and uh, and you get smaller file sizes let us say if there is a 300 mb file this particular proxy media will save it as say 30 mb or 25 mb just depends it, it varies from file to file so now for now uh, if you have any if you need any camera stabilization or uh, rolling shutter problems in your video media i suggest you go ahead and click this for now just leave it empty because you know mm, in later uh, editing you can uh, anyway do this particular thing by just right clicking on your footage and uh, check for stabilization uh, I suggest you leave everything empty here because later you can fix the audio problems or uh, do any color balancing or do anything else. So right now just go ahead and click on import button. So in this event folder you will see this uh, media button media here. You just see this little taskbar circle it is now importing the media it is just since we hit on copy files it is just copying the files and uh, this is also creating a thumbnail and uh, rendering i'll just show you i have already one media done let me just go ahead and show you <coughs> excuse me I got a little cold sorry about that so where your media gets saved let me show you you just click on your finder click on your username mine says to share or yours is maybe your name or uh, your machine name and go to this movies folder if you see here you will find this folder called final cut events and final cut projects all your final cut events media everything gets saved in this particular folder and if you create a project right here in the project library it will get saved in uh, this project folder i created three you see three projects here so in the final cut events folder just go ahead and uh, <clears throat> click anything you know all your events get saved here so let's go ahead and click one event name let's say connected this is my project I'm right now working on so just go ahead and click on transcoded media <coughs> so here you go it created two folders one with high quality media name <clears throat> which is uh, ProRes 422 optimized media and second is proxy media which is ProRes 422 proxy media let me give you an example let's take one file just right click over it get info you, you see this right here let me go. the duration is 52 seconds 
yet it takes 807 MB of space on your machine. In the proxy media, if we go ahead and uh, let me take a bigger file for now. Oops. Uh, All right, the 28 second file just took 44 MB of space now. This is 28 second. This took just 44 MB. So you can imagine how Final Cut Pro X is encoding relative to the disk space or the file size. So that's how it works. The high quality media, which is optimized media, gonna eat a lot of space on your machine. And this proxy media, which takes a less amount of space, which is uh, faster and uh, which is uh, ideal for editing. I pronounce it again editing, it's not for color correction. If you editing, as in um, you can just cut and uh, put together the media because since it's a small size file. Final Cut Pro X gives a very faster performance for editing because it, it can be easily imported, it can be easily worked on so it can be switched anywhere so let's say once you're done with your okay let me go ahead and uh, show you how to work with this preferences pane so if you click back click on this playback button you see this with the playback if you use the proxy media you see these red buttons because uh, I didn't import any of these files as proxy media that's the reason I don't see any files here just go ahead and click on this use original or optimized media I might have used the optimized media or original media to edit and uh, color correct. That's why I'm just getting all this media. So if you import using the proxy media, you'll find also the proxy media if you click on this. So I suggest you just imp once you import both proxy and optimized media, just go to this preferences pane. Go ahead and click on use proxy media. Then import the files into the timeline, cut the timeline, put the files together and uh, once you done with your final editing part, just go ahead and click use original or optimized media. So that the final cut replace all your media with uh, optimized media so which is ideal for color correction. Color correction and uh, you can uh, just apply your uh, color correction or you know you can uh, use it for further exporting but it gonna eat a lot of space on your machine uh, so here comes the compressor 4 which helps you a lot in uh, compressing your uh, maybe 30 gigs or 40 gigs of uh, file into 1 gig or 2 gig or maybe ideal settings for the YouTube or Vimeo or Facebook or any other set video uploading sites so that's it guys uh, for now let me just go ahead and uh, uh, write the workflow once again for you so the workflow here goes import files import files check copy media check optimized media check proxy media Click import. I'm done with import. 
now from preferences check the radio button use proxy media edit you work now go back to your preferences pane and check the radio button optimized media which is ideal for color correction and high quality export so that's it guys uh, if you like the video please go ahead and uh, subscribe sorry about the delays or uh, any mistakes are committed or any external uh, sounds came into the video uh, I request you to subscribe to my channel for uh, the f all the future videos I'm gonna be doing this the whole time and uh, I'm a budding filmmaker uh, so even I do a video I'll uh, also upload uh, the making videos which may help you for the recently started filmmakers so thank you guys uh, you have a good day and uh, happy editing times with final cut pro um, or with your editing suite thanks a lot